made up hundred thousand worth of equity and you've got that house that you want for you and your family. Sack the day job, create my own company, build property. Welcome to Property Investing with Abby. On today's episode, we are with Alan and Geraldine in the lovely village of Nottinghamshire. And Alan and Geraldine are property investors. We're gonna find out all about them and their story. So Alan and Geraldine, tell me where your story began with property. What were you doing before you ever got involved with property? Well, we both had nine to five jobs, really, before property. A oh, long time. A long, long, long time yes. ago. Yeah. Our first purchase was um, a, a two bed uh, terrace house. In Widnes. In yeah. Widnes, in Cheshire. When we used to buy property wrong. <laughs> yeah, before we did it right. Yeah. By wrong, do you mean the old fashioned way? Well, no. the first one we bought was okay. Um, so we did, we sort of did a, a light refurb on that um, without really knowing what we were doing at all. Then much later we got into Touchstone and started, um, started really being more Educated. Mindful and educated about <laughs> what we were doing, yeah. We lived in Wales at the time and I had an uh, SA holiday home cleaning business. That was very time consuming, wasn't it? And it was yeah. Alan doing the cleaning and dragging me out to clean with now and again as well. Yeah, yeah, we did, we did have a, a team of people as well. Yeah. Because it was, it was like, <clears throat> I don't know, it was probably about 60, 60 units that we used to clean. Wow, so that's a lot of property. So it was a lot. We weren't just doing the cleans because I was one that it was at the end of the phone if something wasn't right for yeah, the when the guests arrived yeah. and not getting paid for it. Yeah. And <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's great business. <laughs> yes. hmm, what should I do with my time? I'm just giving it away for free. That was at the time when um, I first uh, I first went to a uh, a weekend event and uh, and met Paul. Yeah. And we had a chat with Paul Smith. Yeah. I remember he specifically asked me, well, well, you can see you're managing these properties and you're cleaning them. So uh, why aren't you getting paid for managing them? And it was a question I'd never even asked myself. Oh, and yeah. it hadn't really gone into my head. I was just yeah. going through the, yeah. you know, the, the, what you do. We started to, to properly manage them and charge yeah. for, for what we did. Yeah. And the, the cleaning business, uh, gradually morphed into SA management. Yeah. And you've got buy to lets as well, haven't you? Well, a couple that we bought through Redmayne Smith as well, and of course, Rents are going a bit ballistic at the yes. moment, obviously, yeah. Yeah. all yeah. over. So we've got, um, yeah. got nice fat rents everywhere, and we're getting them obviously increasing the rents yearly. And yeah. how many properties do you manage under the SA management company? We have up to 25 now, <laughs> but our back office team manage uh, in the region of 400. Wow. And all the properties around here, are they local to you? No, they're all over the all place. Over. We are UK wide, and it's not that we have people in every location, it's basically what we do is I use my experience of, of setting up when I had the cleaning company. Yeah. So it's I, I know how to deal with cleaning company, how to find them, yeah. and um, how to reference them and make sure that yeah. they are experienced in doing it yeah. with, with yeah. regards to SA. Yeah. It's a very different, uh, yeah. different business, really. And also you're doing, um, you started consultancy, haven't you? Yeah, so that's the a more recent sort of addition is that um, we, we're starting SA consultancy. We'll go into the, the nitty gritty, the finding detail of, of what's needed to, to make sure SA works for people. Yeah, because a lot of people see what we do and think holiday lets or on um, mm. property for corporate lets is dead easy. You just get property, shove some furniture in, job done, yeah. but they don't see the actual yeah. setup of it yeah. behind the scenes, getting that's the it. guests in. The, the yeah, churn, yeah. the cleaners, the stuff you've got to have in place, the compliance now. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. It is a big job, isn't it? Fire <coughs> regulations, yes. important. Yeah, and also things like, you know, keeping your costs lower, things obviously are changing. Your um, gas and electric have gone up and you're yes. responsible for them as an SA yes. manager. You need to know what you're doing in property, yeah. don't you? And I say all the time to everybody, you need to get educated in property, you need to understand sure. what you're doing, yeah. you need to have a power team, you know, experts around you that have been there and done it to get the most. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. And Geraldine, you've just started a new business. I have. It's very exciting. Um, and we've finally got a room that I can, you know, we've got quiet rooms. We haven't got banging and drilling and dust and people walking <laughs> around with cups of tea sloshing around behind me. So I'm um, a relationship coach and I help um, couples, professional couples who work together to get the magic in the relationship because it can sometimes get a bit lost when, when you're working and, yeah. and when you're very, very busy and driven towards your goals. It's 
it's very easy to um, become more like work colleagues, yeah. you know, when it's all yeah. just about the work. Yeah. And uh, Alan and myself have been working together for some considerable time. We've had to work at it, obviously, yeah. but this is, um, it's a passion of mine, really, because yeah. I just feel like you can be doing so well in your <clears> business, <throat> um, but then it can be, you know, you sort of, things aren't really great at home or yeah. they whatever. And of course you make more money, <laughs> you know, a couple working together as against not working together, they will make it, they'll come up with all the magic ideas and the fantastic strategies and they communicate better on money and finances yeah. and all that kind of thing. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm uh, helping couples. <laughs> Which is amazing. I saw a quote from Johnny Depp the other day and he was saying, there's no fulfillment and peace on earth if you don't have peace and fulfillment in your home life, in your personal yeah. life. And he was talking about his relationship and I thought that's so true. Yeah. Yeah, awesome, that's amazing. Yeah. So people that are watching thinking, gosh, I'd love to be like you two. Sack the day job, create my own company, build properties. What would yeah. you say to them? I'd say what we did, we got educated and we, it, it, it was absolutely critical to, to you know, um, to our lives really. Without a doubt, we never ever would have gotten this house and gotten this level without the education we got from yeah. Touchstone. You've got to push yourself yes. and you've got to Get out of your comfort zone. Yes. That's, that's hard, hard, isn't it? There's, that's there's, hard. there's always an element of risk. You've yeah. got to take some risk. Yeah, I think. you have. If you do one thing every day yeah. that pushes you forward into the right direction where mm -hmm. you want to go, yeah. then you, you will get there. Yeah. Definitely. So thank you very much for watching Property Investing with Abby. I've been here in Nottinghamshire with Alan and Geraldine. Anyone that wants to contact Alan and Geraldine about any of their businesses, the links are below. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let us know what you think. Is property invested with you? Would you like to do what Alan and Geraldine have done? Let us know.